all right what's going on guys t torres back here for another video so on today's video we're going to be taking the 181 neo big bore kit 2022 honda monkey for a spin let's go ahead and get you guys a cold start let that injector prime up fire up so in one of the um the last videos i mentioned i'll be doing a giveaway for the wayne speed shop um, intake for the uh, Honda Monkey. So if you're interested in winning that, the winner of that will be announced at the end of this video. So we currently got 424 miles on the on this uh, motorcycle frame, and we had to get to 440, which would be the first 300 miles for break-in. So once we get, I don't know, I think it's like 20 more miles, this motor will be broke in. We'll drain the oil, put some fresh oil in it, and. Uh, we're gonna turn the power up just a little bit, but I'm gonna let the bike warm up and then uh, we're gonna go ride down to the beach. All right guys, so I figured I'd take y'all on to the uh, adventure of us uh, going to the beach today. It's a nice uh, 85 degrees here today in the uh, Florida Panhandle. So if you, like I mentioned, if you haven't seen the other, the other video that I posted, go and check out the uh, Honda Monkey playlist that I have. Wayne Strickland from, from the Speed Shop Mini, we did the um, first 2022 Honda Monkey 181 Neo. Neo Monkey, board polished, and I mean, this thing's got all the works. A racer, still braided, like, still braided brake lines now. Aftermarket handlebars, the levers are done. We Wayne blocked out the uh, the headlight as well, and this this bike makes all the power in the world. This is one of my favorite things right here. I could do that all day long. I absolutely love it. The power that this current setup bike makes is just freaking amazing. Uh, just. I think Wayne said on this setup uh, with you know the port work that we had I should be making right at like maybe 25 26 horsepower like I said I've only got about 15 miles or so left for the first 300 miles for the braking on this motor and then we're gonna start start absolutely ripping on this thing get the old chains after the 300 miles and uh, we should be good and then after a thousand miles total we'll check the valves but other than that this this thing is just an absolute absolute freaking monster i mean you got to think about the horsepower weight ratio and i think the the factory motor the 125 from the factory i think it makes nine horsepower so we've done more than doubled that that power and i couldn't be happier with it I, i've already i'm already talking to wayne about 181 swap and everything I own in the garage. We're definitely going to do a 181 swap uh, on the ground. That's definitely that's definitely to come. And then we're either going to do that or we're, we were in the talks of doing a uh, 210 uh, four valve as well. Now keep in mind this bike isn't running this cool because um, it's about 40. I think it's about 40, 50 degrees off than what it what it actually is. So the bike's not running that cool. It's probably running right around about 170, 180. I have no problems <laughs> pulling out in traffic or anything. No, no hesitation. This thing just makes probably the best and most linear power that a small motorcycle would do. The only other thing that I want to do now is I want to get a G-Craft uh, rear swing arm, make that a little bit beefier. I've been doing some uh, um, off-road riding on some on some nature trails that we have here uh, in the Panhandle, and I'm gonna hopefully later this weekend I'll be able to uh, film that video. I had originally already filmed this entire video, but of course my GoPro messed up the audio and made a rookie mistake for the media mod on the GoPro. You have to have a TRS mic and I was using a TRSS lavalier mic. So I just went on Amazon and got a $12 uh, TRS mic. So comment down below and let me know, uh, let me know how this uh, this audio sounds. And to me, I'm really surprised, you know, these stock tires, these little V-rubbers, you know, fairly well hold this, uh, hold this power down very well, but we're gonna get some, uh, we're gonna get some better tires. When I was up there uh, doing the motor swap, another gentleman, he had a yellow monkey and he had the Shinko mobbers and we all went for a ride together and, and he said he's gonna he's gonna ditch those mobbers because I don't, I don't think he really liked them the way the way it rode on the asphalt and taking turns and corners and stuff but the 
one of the one of the weird things uh, me and Wayne we we didn't completely remove the baffle but we drilled out the baffle on this titanium over racing exhaust and it is not loud at all I mean that's about as loud as it gets of course to get to the higher rpms and then if I hit the little back bar yeah it's loud but it's not like obnoxious it's crazy how much quieter um, this exhaust is over my the Grom that I have the 149 big more kit from DHM and the Yosh exhaust it's I don't know I feel like this one's more more mild more mild and tame and a lot of people ask me you know what seat am I rocking I'm rocking the, the G-Craft seat and I think it just complements the uh, the body absolute uh, absolutely well and it's a little hard at first but it's also brand new so So we need to uh, get it broke in and to be so I'm actually surprised the bike is still pretty uh, fuel efficient being that it's now you know 181 swapped which is great I'd say we're still getting 100 miles per gallon with this itty bitty tank and if you're inter interested in getting any kind of engine work or getting your bike built by by Wayne I mean he does an amazing job I'll have a link down in the description to uh, to all his stuff. We'll, we'll pull up here uh, to one of these sites up here. We'll, we'll take a walk around the bike. I just hope this audio turns out good. And man, I had a great video recorded for you guys this past weekend and went to go edit it and the audio was absolute trash. And I know it's been a while since uh, since we posted a video, so I know a lot of people people wanted to hear what this bike sounded like, especially uh, especially with this uh, exhaust. And hopefully, I'll meet some of you guys at Barber Smallboard June 9th, 10th, 11th. I'll be there with a bunch of my friends. We're bringing, I think, five or six bikes, and we got an RV slot this year. We're not not going to be camping out this this year. Or intense, I should say. This year we'll be camping out in an air-conditioned RV because it is going to be—it's going to be hot. Hopefully, I can master launching this thing and and win in my class for the uh, for the drag races. That's like one of the biggest things I want to do. I want to get out there, even though I'm a little bit heavier, 200 pounds. Oh, one of the other things I forgot to mention: uh, just a week ago, I got the Olin's uh, Progressive front forks, and we got we put the 200 plus rider springs and. I'll tell you what, I went uh, trail riding before I put the Olin's progressive forks in there and oh my gosh, it was so squishy. I mean, now I can push the brake in, the bike just barely dies. Before with the factory ones, it was just squishy. It didn't, didn't feel good in playing and I feel a lot more comfortable now. I can't wait to get this thing up to Barber and do the, uh, the parade laps. I think the first 100 people on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I think, you can pay, I think, 10, 20 bucks and you can do the uh, parade laps at, at Barber. This is one of the main main routes that, that we take, uh, all my friends and I, we ride. This road right here is 98. It's on the back side of 98, actually. Well, it runs parallel with 98. Oops, sorry. And uh, this will take you all the way to uh, Pensacola. It's about 20 or 22 miles. So we, we always come out here and ride. It's just a beautiful, beautiful ride. You got sand dunes on the right and you got the beach on the left. Once we get further up here, it'll break and we'll be able to see the, uh, the Emerald Coast water. There's the, uh, the sound side as well. And I tell you what, man, I, I can't do nothing a small the whole time when I'm riding this uh, 181 it's this bike is an absolute monster he and Wayne actually had a 210 four valve monkey making like 30 plus horsepower up there and he was ripping that thing I mean if you guys saw him on uh, one of my YouTube shorts Wayne was doing a third gear wheelie at like 50 55 plus up a hill that's just how much power reliable power this makes I think we did a we did a 14 tooth in the front and then we did a super light 30 uh, I can't remember 35 in the rear I don't I don't 100% 100% remember but 
I mean, just straight up off of throttle, first, second gear, no clutch. This thing just definitely, definitely wants to lift the front end. See, there, there goes some nice, eh, the water's not as, as clear as it was on Sunday, but of course, leave it to me to mess the audio up. But I'm, I'm glad it's, summer is definitely finally here. It's, it's warmed up and everybody's starting to get their bikes out. I can't wait to take this bike back out uh, on the Florida, I think it's the Florida Wildlife Conservation Trails and and rip it rip it through there now that i got the olin's forks that aren't gonna freaking bog down on me this thing just wants to lift up so easy i love it i love it i need to learn how to wheelie this thing uh for sure let's get you guys a nice little walk around find the kickstand there we go okay so like i mentioned it, we do have the over racing titanium exhaust this is the uh 181 neo build we blacked out the oil cooler i got these pieces powder coated you can't tell me that titanium pipe well, you know once that heat gets into it it doesn't look good with all that purple purple and bluish um, aftermarket shocks in the rear uh, man in the box rizoma lights front and rear turn signals zeta folding levers uh, we got rizoma handlebar uh, grips bar end mirror man of the box handlebars and uh, that uh, just that blacked out headlight and we blacked out the front and rear uh, fender as you can see the uh, all the cam covers and the valve covers that's done from uh, from grandfathers and uh, man this thing is an absolute blast to drive in rain Wayne was like hey let's just he likes the look of that cover off I'm not sure about that yet but I think I'm gonna get a black aluminum uh, chain cover for that for that as well all right let's head on back oh i should probably get a thumbnail i am always the worst about that gummit always forget to do that let's get a thumbnail real quick let's get this thing going So easy just to lift the front tire up. Definitely feels so much better now that I have the uh, <laughs> Owens. God, it feels so much better in planning. All right, let's do a little little baby pull real quick. this bike should do about 80 88 miles an hour but I'll never do this it's ridiculous just wants to make all the power just pull the throttle third gear that doesn't get any better than that folks I should probably get some different rear sets too as well some beefier ones especially if I'm gonna be doing some off-road riding and trying to do some wheelies definitely got to learn how to do that have you seen those people that like it's kind of like a wheelie trainer that like has something on the on the back of the bike and you practice you know clutching up the bike and stuff i definitely would like to try one of those i wish they had one of those uh one of those around here i'm sure it makes good money too as well but i thought i would just uh bring you guys along for uh, some riding content if you guys like like riding content like this i got plenty of bikes in the garage and i finally feel like I've, i'm comfortable enough to where i've got the camera set up how i want to got the right angle and i got the the correct audio down so if you guys just enjoy seeing where i'm cruising to or whatever let me know down below and uh we'll make it happen definitely got a lot of content we got a lot of we do i wouldn't say we do a lot of group rides but we got some Honda Ruckus people, Connor's got a Benelli. Well, we got a couple different bikes that you know we all like to cruise out on too. We got some some people with some Harleys. You know, I got a big Honda Victory, or not a Honda Victory, excuse me, the uh, the Victory Highball as well. It's a, bit, it's a it's a fun bike. But anyways, that is going to uh, that's going to do it for today's video. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. 
leave this video a big thumbs up turn on your post notifications and i'll catch y'all in the next video thank you all so much for watching and i hope to see y'all at barber small board june 9th 10th and 11th peace